Hey guys, John here. Welcome to a Tundra install video. We are installing this, the little Carista box that is gonna get rid of all the fake engine noise, the annoying seatbelt chimes, roll down our windows, and so much more, and it's super easy to install. So taken out of the box, just a tiny little Bluetooth module that's gonna plug into our OBD2 port, and then you'll have to download the Carista app onto your smartphone and turn on your Bluetooth. So under the driver's footwell, here is our OBD2 port, so we're just gonna take the module, go ahead and plug it in. Press it firmly. All right, guys, so next step is to turn the ignition on. So we're gonna turn the truck on. We're gonna go into our Carista app. We're gonna go ahead and press connect. So it's gonna be searching for it. I made sure that the Bluetooth was on. It says connecting uh, to your OBD device. Sweet, so <laughs> it loaded my VIN and everything. So there's my VIN, I guess. Um, customized, so we got unlock hidden features, diagnose, service, live data. So that is very, very cool. So you can get live data if you wanted it constantly running, I guess. Let's go ahead and tap live data. Oh, wow, so that's cool. So we're at 9,400 RPMs. Go ahead and rev it a little bit. Revs back up, tiny bit delayed, but we have coolant temperature and all that too. Scrolling down, man, that's very cool. But let's look at the goodies, because we're gonna turn off some stuff that is kind of annoying on this truck. We're gonna go up into customize. It's gonna load everything again. That took a little bit to load, but here we are in the customize section. So we got chassis and engine. Active noise canceling is on. Engine sound enhancement. Let's tap that off. Goodbye V8 noise. Oh, what the heck? All right, so I'm just gonna do one month. I thought it was free, unless I did the wrong thing. I guess that cost me 10 bucks, but I thought it was free, but hey, if you guys like it, use the affiliate link down in the description to pay for this. But anyways, we'll continue. So we have the fake V8 noise off, save. And then it's gonna load it up. So fake V8 noise is off. Honestly, it sounded decent, like it sounded good. Everyone loves a V8, right? But this truck is not a V8. It's a twin turbo V6. And if I'm gonna lose the V8, I just, it's just gone. And I just wanna hear the turbos. If, if I'm substituting it for the turb skis, I just wanna hear the turb skis. We're gonna be putting in the AFE cold air intake. So I really wanna hear them with no fake V8 noise and also see how that intake growls and stuff. So dings and warnings, let's go up into here. Seat belt warning ding driver, see you later. Disable that. The Tundra is very bad. Like the moment you start driving away, like within five seconds, bing, 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 it just starts going and does not shut up. It took like one song, I think. I was just bored in a Walmart parking lot. Took about one song, and which is what, three minutes or so? We're gonna take it away for the passenger. I agree. It's nice for road trips. Sometimes the wife, you know, is, is moving around. She has to take the, the seatbelt off to go do stuff with the dogs, reach back, whatever. Gonna be perfect. Right side seatbelt warming. We're just gonna get rid of all the seatbelt warnings. All right, so everything's disabled. Uh, warn when doors are open with the headlights on. Yeah, I, I I want that. So driver assist functions, what do we got here? Default distance, pre-collision. I don't wanna mess with anything. Default, default, remember last distance, pre-collision, PCS. Yep, I'm fine with all that stuff. So the biggest thing is here in the windows section. I've seen people do it. So open windows and sunroof via long press on the remote. That would be very cool. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's just nice in Florida to do that or any hot climate you may be in. If you're walking up to the vehicle because Toyota's engine start stop thing is so horrible or the remote start that at least for this truck, when I do it and I open the door, it shuts it off. So if I'm able to walk up to the vehicle, open up all the windows, let all that heat escape, that'd be awesome. So that's cool. I wonder which button it is. I feel like it is the, uh, I feel like it's the lock button, but we'll see. Sweet, so we did all the customized things that I really wanted to do. The main thing was take care of the fake V8 noise. I wanted all the windows to roll down and the seatbelt chime. So I was hoping that there was something in there for the parking brake to if you have a door open, the truck doesn't make you do all this stuff. I did not see that in there, but this app is pretty sweet because you have diagnose stuff, service stuff, live data and stuff too. If you have like a secondary phone or some sort of uh, receiver that you wanna put on your glass, like as you're driving to monitor temperatures and everything, if you're towing, that's very, very awesome. So I would recommend this app, but let's take it for a drive and see. Oh! Oh, so I have to hold it more. Okay, so we're gonna hold the unlock button. What? Way cool. And now our sunroof is going too. So if I stop it on the remote, like if I let go, it stops. How sick. So let's keep going. 
that opens. Way cool, but the back window doesn't go down. But still, all four of the windows came down and the sunroof, so that's way cool. So all of them came down. I may tinker around with the app a little bit more to see if it can close all the way, but that is sweet. All right, so we are gonna back out of the garage and I have my seatbelt off. Do not drive with your seatbelt off, but we're gonna see if this truck starts yelling at me and then we are also just gonna accelerate lightly down the uh, neighborhood and just see if the fake V8 noise is still there. And the windows, they've worked. All of our windows are open. So most likely everything is working the way that it should, which is awesome. I love when stuff just freaking works and it's easy. And go ahead and roll all the windows up. But it has not started yelling at me yet. This is so sweet. It's not like, you know, I drive with my seatbelt off all the time. No, I don't. But sometimes you're just moving the truck around or it's just whatever and like you don't want your seatbelt on so you're just driving but by now my seatbelt light or the sound just be bing 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 put your freaking seatbelt on like oh, sorry it's just all over the place but that works so let's go ahead and accelerate <laughs> i i'm sorry i like that makes me happier uh to do that than hearing the fake v8 noise and i i don't know why it's just for some reason this 3.4 liter just it has kind of this weird just raspy sound to it like nothing can replace a v8 i get that right there's no replacement for displacement i get that but at the same time this one sounds good i like the turbos and hopefully when we install the afe cold air intakes uh, we will hear a bit more turbo noise. And now when I installed intakes on previous vehicles, like the 4Runner and the Tacoma, you do get a little bit lower of a growl with it as well. And those were uh, six cylinders too. But the nice thing is that uh, this has two of them. So it's gonna have two intakes. So hopefully we hear a little bit of a growl plus the turbos as well. Um, should hopefully be a recipe for a good sounding turbo right not a v8 i get it but we'll see so here's the fake v8 noise and now here is just normal v6 with turbos still I, I like it so my wife recorded that for us just to hear the fake v8 noise before i turn it off but yes that growl is gone i'm okay with it it was artificial but now we have the turbo noises and stuff and it sounds good and i'm all right with it so we're gonna put the afe intake on that will be another video guys hopefully we hear some good growl and i'm also gonna road trip literally right away with it to see if we get better miles per gallon out of this tundra so guys if this video was helpful if you guys are interested in the carista little obd2 thing link down in the description i appreciate you guys watching and i will catch you all in the next one all right see you later